Hello, my name is Louise Delanois, and I'm a PhD candidate at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. My co-authors are Dr. May Sui from the University of South Carolina, Dr. Carl Levy from the University of Queensland School of Medicine, Dr. Stephen Blair from the University of South Carolina, and Dr. Robert Ross from Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. The name of my article is Change in Submaximal Cardiorespiratory Fitness and All-Cause Mortality. This article will appear in the February 2018 edition of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The takeaway message of this article is that a simple five-minute submaximal cardiorespiratory fitness test predicts all-cause mortality risk independent of traditional risk factors including age, weight, systolic blood pressure, smoking status, diabetes, cholesterol, and family history of cardiovascular disease. There is overwhelming evidence that maximal cardiorespiratory fitness, hereafter referred to as maximal fitness, predicts cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality risk beyond traditional risk factors commonly assessed in the clinic. In fact, the American Heart Association recently published a 48-page statement outlining the importance of assessing maximal fitness in clinic. Yet, despite this evidence, maximal fitness has not been adopted in clinical practice due to barriers including the need for expensive testing systems, specialized personnel, time, and discomfort on behalf of the patient. A potential alternative to measuring maximal fitness is the submaximal fitness test, which is shorter and simpler to perform and may therefore be a pragmatic alternative. However, submaximal fitness should only be performed if it can provide additional information that influences patient management beyond what is currently assessed in clinic. In this paper, we hypothesized that measures of submaximal fitness would uniquely reflect cardiovascular adaptations in response to physical activity and thus predict mortality risk above and beyond traditional risk factors. To test our hypothesis, we use data from the Aerobic Center Longitudinal Study to look at the relationship between change in submaximal fitness and mortality risk. Change in submaximal fitness was determined using the difference in heart rate obtained at the five minute mark of a graded maximal treadmill test at baseline and follow up. The novel finding from this study is that a simple five minute submaximal fitness test identified that adults who maintained or improved their submaximal fitness were 40% less likely to die from all causes at follow up than were adults whose submaximal fitness decreased. In addition, submaximal fitness predicted mortality risk above and beyond traditional risk factors. Therefore, this test provides information that influences and enhances patient management. The secondary finding in this study is that the risk association with submaximal fitness is similar to that of maximal fitness, which suggests that the submaximal fitness test, which requires less than one third the time of a maximal fitness test, and does not require the patient to reach maximal exertion is a pragmatic alternative to maximal fitness tests for assessing mortality risk in clinical settings. The primary modifiable determinant of submaximal fitness is physical activity. Therefore, because an improvement in submaximal fitness is associated with the adoption of regular physical activity, measurement of submaximal fitness presents the clinician with opportunities to objectively measure the physical activity patterns of their patients and in doing so comply with the recommendation of the American Medical Association that physicians track the physical activity patterns of their patients. Future studies are required to determine whether a shorter submaximal fitness test predicts morbidity or mortality, and whether different submaximal fitness intensities influence risk prediction differently. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.